Okay. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is possibly one of the most exciting videos I've ever filmed. As majority of you will know, the reason my channel is at where it is today is down to a video I posted when I was 14 tattooing myself at home. For anyone unfamiliar, I did a little stick and poke on myself when I was 14 at home. Posted it on YouTube and it got over 2 million views. It's the whole reason that my channel blew up and became known. I did not realise what that little tattoo was going to stem into. Not only did it massively grow my YouTube channel, but it was also the starting point for my interest in body modifications. After I did that first little stick and poke, I got super interested in tattoos and also delved into the world of piercing and then started doing them from home and posting it on my channel. I feel like a lot of you guys have been on this journey with me from my starting point to where I'm at now. The first piercing I did at home on my channel was an earlobe piercing with a safety pin. Then I pierced my nose with a safety pin at the end of 2019. Gradually over time, I became more safe with it. I got some sterile equipment, started piercing with actual piercing needles, did a lot more research, bought the correct tools and equipment. And then not only was I piercing myself, but also friends and family at home and along that whole journey I was posting it on YouTube for you guys to watch. I've done a wide range of piercings on this channel from a simple earlobe to rook, helix, tragus, eyebrow, nostril, septum, tongue web, smiley, tongue. I learned everything I knew from YouTube and online research and somehow managed to do a fair amount of successful piercings from home. Now for the exciting part of this video. As I mentioned before this passion started up for me when I was 14 years old and I'm so excited to announce that at the age of nearly 17 I now hold the label of a piercing apprentice and I I'm training to become a professional piercer. This is absolutely huge for me. This is like a dream career coming true. And I honestly never expected to get this opportunity, especially not as soon as I did. But I'm so excited to announce it and just let you guys know because I feel like you've all been on this journey with me and finally I'm taking the thing that I love and making it a professional career. So now that that information's out for you guys to know, I decided I would ask you guys on Instagram if you wanted to ask me any questions. I knew that there would be things you guys wanted to know. And if there's anything I don't answer in this video, feel free to drop it in the comments section. I'll do my best to read through the comments on this video and respond to them. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into what you guys want to know. So I think the top question I got asked is how did I get the apprenticeship? Pretty much, I've been going to the same piercing studio since I was 14. I went and got my septum pierced there October of that year and literally from my first visit I absolutely loved the studio. So I ended up going back there for every other professional piercing that I got. Ended up following all the staff on social media, so all of the piercers, the tattooists. And pretty much over the time that I kept going into the studio, I got to know the staff members a little bit more. Thought they were really cool people. Where most of the staff from the studio also followed me on Instagram, they obviously saw that I did piercings from home and knew I had a keen interest in them. And where I got on a more friendly level with the people who worked there, I stayed in touch, kept going to the studio for piercings. And then come this year, the senior piercer and owner of the shop was looking to take on some new team members, including a new piercer. So from there, she gave me a message and basically asked if I'd like to come in for a chat and if I'd be interested in the role, which obviously I was like, yes, this is a dream come true. I popped into the studio for a chat chat, we spoke through it all, and I started a couple weeks later. So that's how I personally got the apprenticeship, was just knowing the staff, going to the studio for my own piercings. I was obviously a client of theirs for a couple of years before I worked there, and I think just getting to know the people and kind of making it known my interest in piercings just meant they kept me in mind when they were looking for new staff. The next question is, do you have to be 18 to do a piercing apprenticeship? The short answer is no, you don't have to be 18. Obviously, I'm only 16, about to turn 17. It could be different in different countries, I'm in the UK. I think it mostly depends on the studio, because a lot of places do require you to be 18 but in terms of legally what age you have to be you can be under 18 to do an apprenticeship someone asked if i have to pay to do the apprenticeship again this is different depending where you're training i know the studio i'm at in the past you did have to go and do some type of course to be able to train but the rules have changed around slightly so the type of apprenticeship that i'm doing is on the job training in the studio so i'm not having to pay for it i'm not having to do a course i'm just solely training in the studio doing practical work and being mentored by a senior artist someone asked how do i balance college and my apprenticeship Anyone who follows me on Instagram probably saw that I was at college. I actually dropped out pretty quick because I just didn't really enjoy it. A lot of people would say I didn't give it a fair chance because I wasn't there for long at all. But I could tell very quickly that it wasn't something that was going to fulfill me. And it was the first time that I've been in that kind of learning environment in years because I didn't go to school for years. I just did online learning. So going back into that kind of environment, even though college is entirely different to school, it just didn't really feel like it was for me. I just didn't really enjoy it. So in the UK, an apprenticeship is actually classed as education. So I'm actually doing it instead of college. In terms of how long the apprenticeship takes, it's literally just however long it takes for me to tick all the boxes that I need to in order to move up to be a junior piercer and to get my license. So there isn't any like set time limit on it. What piercing haven't you tried yet? There's quite a few that I haven't done yet. Haven't done nipple piercings, haven't done a dave piercing, haven't done a vertical labret, haven't done a bridge, haven't done dermals, haven't done anti-tragus, forward helix. I still have a lot to learn and a lot to try which is exciting because it gives me new stuff to delve into. What kind of things do you have to know about piercings and how how do you get known for that job? 
job. So ultimately, there is a lot more that goes into piercing and making it a professional career than people think. It isn't all just about the stabbing. You have to know about cross-contamination. The cleaning and the hygiene is actually one of the biggest parts of the whole job. Making sure everything is kept clean and sterile is one of the most important things in terms of safety. Working in a studio, obviously there's also learning all of the jewellery, learning about sterilisation, so with the autoclave, ultrasonic, disinfectant, which in our studio we use Vercon, which is for cleaning equipment, surfaces and also your skin. Also obviously learning to be good with customers. I think that's another big part in my head as well, is just making it a comfortable environment for people coming in. A lot of people coming to get piercings are nervous. I was that client with my anxiety, I'd always get really anxious going for piercings. So I think that's another important part, is just being able to keep someone calm. In terms of what you need to know about actual piercings, I think some of the most important things are angles, making sure you get it straight so that it looks good and also heals properly. Aftercare as well, it's another massive thing. Making sure that the client knows how to look after the piercing. And also dealing with aftercare is another massive part of the job. It's not all just about the actual piercings, it's also about making sure that they heal properly and offering help to clients if they have problems with their healing. And ultimately just knowing the right techniques to get it done as quick as possible, as safely as possible, and making the client as comfortable as possible during the process. You learn all the little details during training and also through research. But I think it's definitely key to know that the actual piercing is not the only part you have to learn and that there's a lot that goes with it that you also have to know on the side. How can you get into the position of being a professional piercer? As far as I'm aware, the two ways you can do it are through either doing a course or through on the job training under an apprenticeship, which is how I'm doing it. In terms of doing a course, I'm pretty sure you can pay for that and go and do it yourself. If you wanted to take the apprenticeship route, obviously just looking for a reputable studio that will take you on. Do the times you pierced yourself or others help you to already know some things about piercing now? I would definitely say it's helped me and it's given me confidence from the outset because I'm kind of going into it knowing what to expect. Obviously piercing in a studio is entirely different to piercing at home. It's done in a much safer way and I'm being monitored and mentored. Obviously I don't recommend in any way that you do do piercings from home, but I would definitely say that are aspects of it that have helped me mostly with my confidence around piercings because I'm doing my first piercings in the studio this Friday and I don't feel like I'm going into it completely blind because I have already done piercings on people so I kind of know what to expect. I think the only way it actually has been beneficial though is because I did research so much. I didn't just completely wing it because I had such an interest and a passion and I looked at how I could do it as safely as possible at home and I actually researched all about cross-contamination and how to keep your environment as clean as possible when doing a procedure. Still wasn't anywhere near the safety level level it would be in a studio but because I wasn't just winging it and piercing someone in a field I was actually putting as much effort into being clean and sterile and safe as I could with what I had that side of it has helped when I'm going into a studio to know the basics is it difficult to find a studio and be an apprentice obviously I've been very lucky with my position because I got asked by the studio if I wanted to do the apprenticeship instead of having to go out and look for a studio to take me on I think ultimately it's just important if you are looking for a studio to go into that you don't just go with the first one you find make sure it's reputable and I would recommend going there as a client for a while first just to get to know the people, get to know the environment a little bit, see what they're like for piercings, work out if it's somewhere you'd like to work. Because for me that massively helped. By the time I got offered the apprenticeship, I'd been going to the studio for two years and really liked it in there. Knew the people, knew the space, and knew that it was somewhere I'd enjoy working. Do you have a fear of the client feeling a lot of pain or piercing it incorrectly? Yeah, I would definitely say that's something that I'm scared of. Less so piercing incorrectly because now I've got a senior piercer there who will be monitoring all of my appointments until I'm a junior. And obviously the people coming in for piercings will be made aware that I'm an apprentice. They'll be booking their appointment knowing that I'm training. So they'll be a little bit more patient with me doing the piercing. In terms of being worried about the client feeling a lot of pain, obviously piercings are gonna hurt a little bit and anyone going into it will know that. Obviously everyone's pain tolerance is different. That's often a question that a lot of people have is, is this piercing gonna hurt? How much is it gonna hurt? And ultimately, even if I've had the piercing they're getting, I can't tell them how much it's gonna hurt because my pain threshold could be completely different to theirs. It does freak me out a little bit worrying that I'm gonna really hurt someone but obviously when I'm doing a piercing I'm just focusing on the task at hand and I'll always aim to get it done as quickly and as comfortably as possible for the client. I think again I'll definitely feel better now I've got someone monitoring me and there to help. And final question is, is it how you dreamt of it? Honestly, I'm only on my second week, but already I can say yes. Being in the environment of a studio, learning, training, and soon to be actually piercing and doing what I love in a professional environment, it's exactly as I hoped it would be. And already I'm just finding it so amazing. And hopefully over time that'll just get better and better the more and more confident that I get. Obviously I'm still in the early stages of learning how the studio works, learning all the setup, the jewelry, the gauges, and I still have so much to learn in terms of the actual piercings and process. But no, honestly, so 
so far it's exactly as I'd hoped it would be. But yeah, I think that is pretty much all of the questions that I had from you guys on Instagram. Again, if there's anything I haven't covered that you want to ask down in the comments, feel free. Or drop me a DM over on Instagram. I also now have a piercing page that you guys can follow. It is just Biddle Body Adornments. I will put the name on screen and also link it down in the description. So head over and give it a follow. I'm documenting all of my progress on there, including deals and offers if you guys want to come get pierced by me, which I can now officially announce that you are able to do. If you are local to Kent or Tunbridge Wells and you'd like to get pierced by me, you can send me a DM over on that account and make a booking. And it's 50% off a piercing under apprentice prices. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. I will be making a bunch of content around my apprenticeship in place of all of the home piercing videos. So also let me know down below any content that you would like to see around the apprenticeship. I should be doing some filming in the studio and just kind of showing you what it's like to be an apprentice and what I get up to. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.